go for a joy ride. What tied it to you, baby girl? That tie cannot justify. She's gone, looking at another man's eyes. Standing at another man's inside. I want you back, baby, that the can't deny. Yes, people. We're here live and direct. Right here on the Big Bad Station. With yours truly, DJ Cat. We've got a very special guest joining us. He goes by the name of Honesty. He's going to be live and direct. Never touch you with me. Girl, I love you and I love you to this day. Forgive me one more time. Forgive me two more time. I promise this time I will not misbehave. Yes, 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 people. Big shout out to each and everyone loving and feeling the vibes. But right now, we've got a very special guest joining us. As I said, he goes by the name of Honesty. So, of course, Honesty, are you there? Yeah, I'm here, Kat. How are you doing? Thanks for having me. Anytime, anytime. You're always welcome. So, of course, let the people know, let the listeners know, who is Honesty? Tell us about that. Yeah, Honesty is a, um, a reggae, dancehall, slash, Afrobeat artist. Wow. I was born um, in a small country in the Caribbean, which is Belize. Okay. And I was brought up with a with a huge music musical background when it comes to family, because most of my family and stuff was into music and stuff. So, honestly, started his career. I started started my career from twenty twenty one. Wow, wow. So you're fairly. Would you say you're a fairly new artist then? Um. No, sorry. My bad. Two thousand one, not twenty twenty one. Okay, I was gonna say wow. <laughs> so tell us about your journey you know how did you kind of get into music how did this kind of become a career for you tell us about that yeah like I, like i mentioned before um i came from a musical background so my from when i was about five years old my dad used to play in um like cultural band in belize yeah and then when i when I was about, I reached the age of uh, around 13 through 15, I also was playing in a cultural band. I was sing, I was the lead singer when it comes to dance all. And then after I turned around 21, I was singing in a, in a one-man band in another town from where I, where I grew up from. Okay. And then from there onwards, I moved to Chicago, and that's where I started recording my first uh, songs and my first album in Chicago. Wow, wow. You've definitely got an eclectic range of places you've been and places you've seen for real correct <laughs> so you know before you came on we were playing a tune called love for granted tell us about that tune and kind of the idea behind it you know the idea behind it is because um people in relationship people that are married and stuff like that they usually would um like take the simple things then for granted in their relationship you yeah. know because people are think the grass is greener on the other side and stuff like that and I've seen it happen with a lot of people and it happened in our everyday lives and stuff and stuff like that so I went in the mute in the booth and I was like you know what I heard, I put the beat on and I was like okay I start thinking right and I start bringing all these different ideas together what people go through and stuff like that even in my relationship because I'm married also so even in my relationship I had a little couple stuff in there because you know how life is right yeah and that's how I up with that sound trying to tell people it doesn't matter what you go through in a relationship and stuff like that but don't take your love for granted you know mm, i hear that wow i hear that 100 percent. you know what tell us about the rhythm to that because i could hear afro beats in there i could hear a little bit of dance so i could hear a mixture of flavors so was that the intention or did it just kind of feel right no the intention was to um to make it an afrobeat dance hall song okay because uh I got hooked up this uh, last year, rather. I got hooked up with uh, uh, some producers from Africa, and these guys are the ones that create the instrumental for me, the beat for me. So I got hooked up with them, and I started with cards. So my my new album that I that I released November of last year is mainly based on Afrobeat and mixture with dancehall music. Okay, okay, I hear that. I hear that. And you know what? I also I've been listening to two other tunes that you've done called No Bad Man and Vows. Tell us about those tunes. Yeah, the the the, the song No Bad Man is like like I said, most of my songs are probably related to what people go through every day, right? Because yeah. the No Bad Man is like I've seen so many times, you know, 
people going out here lip walk on the street or whatever people having guns and all kinds of stuff and and because of that because of their anger because of their rage you know most of the time when a young person have a gun or something they feel like they're so bad that nothing can really happen to them mm. and i've seen this multiple times where you could have a gun in your hand and someone will still come and shoot you and all the senseless killings that is happening on the street not in, not only in america or england or in the country where i was born in belize and stuff like that but mm. to me i realized that the young people them are just killing each other for no reason and that's why i made that sound no bad man yeah. and now the song vowels the song vowels is just for the ladies you know what i mean so <laughs> i just write that song for the ladies you know just it's just a fun song it's just a fun song i hear that i definitely feel the fun and the vibes in that one as well so you know you kind of touched me there with the tune no bad man in regards to young people and i wanted to know like what would what would you say to young people that either are taking that path of being around in that circle because sometimes you just kind of get caught up in a situation or it's your environment but what would you say to young people who are listening to kind of get out of that you know what i would say to leave that lifestyle alone because at the end it's not going to be beneficial for no one you know mm -hmm. because if they if you if you're young you take a gun it doesn't even matter if you're young well let's put it this way if you have a gun yeah and you go out and kill someone right now, if it's self-defense, that's a different story. I could understand that part. But if you just go out there with because you have a gun, you're killing people innocently and stuff like that, you have to also remember that your life is over. And not only that, the pain and suffering that you caused to that person, family and friends. Mm -hmm. yeah. You know what I mean? So the thing is, you know what, just, just try get help. You know, mm -hmm. they have so many help all over, like, different communities and stuff where they have anger management classes. They have all different kinds of stuff. So just try and get some help so that they don't take that path because they will end up in jail or they will end up dead. Yeah. I hear that. I hear that. You know what? I mean, your name kind of says it all, you know, honesty. But tell us about your name and kind of why you called that. You know, that, that name was um, given to me in the military. Okay. Um, because... Most of the time, I was always the honest person. This time, just remember, I, w I was really young at that time. I, I believe I was about 18 or 17 years old when that name was given to me. But, like, whenever I'm doing an operational post, that's simply as, like, patrolling the border or doing different stuff like that. Anything that happened, yeah. some of the guys would all go back and tell a lie. But if they would call me in the office and say, you know what, what take place and such and such and such, I felt that it was that I was supposed to be like really honest so I tell the truth mm -hmm. on every occasion you know and then from there people in the military they started to say man you honesty we're going to call you honesty mm -hmm. so they did spell it as the word itself h-o-n-e-s-t-y yeah but um they started using that name from from probably about 98 yeah and but because it was so hard on the internet because you know the word honesty is so common yeah so if you type my, in my 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 website and all these different stuff would never came up so i decided to change the s to a z okay you know what that was my next question and you know what i thought it was gonna be a long story with that but you just told it <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you just said it as it is. I hear that. You know, and I wanted to know who are your inspirations because you've got such an eclectic range of different rhythms, different vibrations. Who inspires you? You know, my one of my number one inspired this might seem weird, but one of my number one inspiration is Lucky Doobie. Okay. That guy I grew up listening to most of his music and everything like that and I always was inspired by him the passion that he had for music and stuff and also by Molly and then if you're thinking about the younger guys then I would say for Joe Biden also okay okay I hear that I hear that and you know I feel like you need to talk about the place where you grew up because it's not necessarily a place that people really hear of or speak of Belize what is that what is your place like let's talk, let's say it like that yeah, Belize is a beautiful country with beautiful people. I mean, the country itself is mainly run by tourism because, you know, the economy is horrible. Yeah. So young people, they go to college, came out of college. They don't have a job. Some of them working at call center or different stuff. It's hard to find a job. That's why there's so much crime, mm. so much theft. 
all kinds of stuff in Belize because the economy is horrible. The country owes more than what the country is worth. Okay. You know what I mean? Yeah, I hear that. But yeah, it's, beautiful. it's a beautiful place. People could visit. I mean, American, they, they retire from America and they go back to Belize. They buy their piece of land. They build up their house and all different kinds of stuff like that because it's a cheaper country to live in also, you know? Okay. But overall, it's a beautiful country with different ethnicity so we have the creole we have the garifuna we have the hispanic we have the mayan we have the indians so it overall it's a it's a it's a great country yeah well <laughs> i like the sound of that still yeah and you know what made you kind of i don't say leave um i mean i'm sure belize is always with you but go to chicago why why that particular place that you decided to go to well my dad my, my dad came over here and and so I was in the military at that time, but then I decided that, you know, Belize is so hard, like I mentioned earlier, yeah. when it comes to fence and stuff for people to even, like, get a house and cars. Most people don't even have a car because it's so hard. They're not making enough money. Making a, When I leave Belize, when I left Belize, sorry, yeah. people, um, wage was like $3 an hour. Wow. Now it's about $3 an hour. So I, I, to me, I said to myself, if I want to pursue my musical career, whereas I could have more money to invest into my music, then I need to be in a country where I could make more money. So that's mm -hmm. the reason why I'm to Chicago. I hear that. I hear that. And you know what? I hear Chicago is a great place as well. But you have to tell me about that. Yeah, Chicago is a great place. But um, um, like with like like with every town or every state where wherever you are, yeah, there is one. Are going to be the bad neighborhood and the good neighborhood you know mm. what i mean yeah, but yeah. overall overall in chicago the stigma of shy rock and all that stuff overplay over the good part of chicago but chicago have a lot of beautiful towns and cities where people could visit and stuff like that i don't necessarily live exactly in chicago but okay. i live in a northern, northern suburb okay area. yeah i hear that i hear that so speaking of your music now I mean, everybody always wants to know if an EP is going to come out, an album, everybody wants to know that. Yeah, what happened here is this is my fourth album. Nice. So, like I said, I just released the same, the same, um, the, the album that have the Love for Granted and the Vowels and, and those different songs. Nine songs on that album. I released that album November, I believe the 26th of November of last year. Okay, okay. And how has the response been for you so far in regards to your album? You know, the response has been great. I, I kinda I kinda love the response that I'm getting now because you know, from the previous album before that was a cultural album for belief. So I mean that you know, that wasn't like internationally or, or worldwide. But now for this new album, now my music is in different countries, different radio stations and stuff like that. So I'm loving it. You know, <laughs> I'm sitting here talking to you and my music is, is playing in Germany. You know what I mean? So yeah. that's, that's a blessing. Wow, wow, wow. I hear that, I hear that. And how does that feel? I mean, as an artist, I'm sure you're ecstatic. But how does it feel from your own words? You know what, to be honest, you know, this is something um, like from birth. Uh, from my start pursuing a musical career, this is something that I've always, as I, I've always wanted. I want to see people enjoy my music. I want to see people across the world enjoy my music. I want to see DJs playing my music. You know, but for some reason, um, it doesn't exactly kind of hit me yet. You know, yeah. because I feel like I personally feel like I have a lot more work to do. And when that day come, when I realize, you know what, I've done it then I believe I'll start to rejoice. But for right now, I've, I'm still seeing the process. I'm still seeing the work that left to be done. I hear that. And I'm sure many artists will tell you there's always work to be done. <laughs> Correct. Correct. 100%. So, you know, I always ask each and every artist, if you're up for it, to sing a little something, live and direct. Would you be up for that? Oh, of course. <laughs> so whenever you're ready and whatever you're feeling, go for it. Okay. No bad man they are, no bad man they are, no bad man they are, be a leader, not a follower. No bad man they are, no bad man they are, no bad man they are, be a leader, not a follower. My opinion, our generation mess up the young kids them. They don't have no respect, mommy and daddy take away the bell from them.
No lesson learned. Them all sell out. Them got them friend. And everything that is in trend, they will follow that right up to the end. It get worse when them take God out of the school. And now them politics, politicians think them could take what they fool. Life means nothing to others now. Young men just fool. And everybody in power. Take for people to fool. Your mind is ticking. Tick, 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 tick. Like a time bomb. It tick, 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 tick. One day I mess with the wrong one. Them tick, 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 tick. Put down the guns, then no tick, 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 tick. Jeez. <laughs> oh, bad mind. <laughs> yeah, definitely. I was getting into that, you know. I didn't want it to end. I was getting into it. <laughs> so what's next for you, Honesty? Tell the listeners, the people, what we can look forward to next. You know, man, the, the next, next, next thing that I'm, I'm working on is to travel, and I travel across the world. So we're planning a, an international tour next year. Okay. So this will also consist of my country, which is Belize, and then and also in Europe. So we're planning a, a real nice tour in Europe also. And for the rest of this year, I'm traveling around the USA because I have a show coming up in Los Angeles, which is going to be July the 1st. Okay. So I'm traveling with and, Sam. And hopefully... Hopefully one day I might get to come to England. Of course. I'm sure that day will come yeah. soon. <laughs> I'm sure. So you know what? Tell the listeners and the people how we can connect with you. Is it through either your Instagram, Facebook, email, all that great stuff? Tell us. Yeah. Um, the listeners could connect to me through my, my, my personal website, which is honesty.com, or uh, any social media outlet, because I'm on Facebook, Instagram, TikTok, you name it, I'm on it. Okay. You know, and also my email address but they could get all the information from my press kit on my website so I have all the information my number if they want to book me for shows my email everything is on there great and of course do you have a YouTube channel everybody wants to know that yep. I do I have a couple I, well not a couple I have a lot of music video from years ago and I also have a couple new music video from early last year and stuff like that so it's just honestly h-o-n-e-z-t-y nice nice and of course before we say bye for now um, what would you like to say to your listeners, your fans, and the new supporters for, on the show? You know, I just want to say thank you very much for listening to my music and sharing and liking my music. Because without the listeners, we ain't, we ain't nothing. You know what I mean? I and that. I just want to tell please keep on researching honesty, keep on sharing my music. And that way, by all the share and likes and everything like that, that way I could be more motivated to like, you know, keep on making music and keep on sharing the love when it comes to music and stuff like that. And I just want to say thank you also for having me on your radio station today. I want to thank all my fans, all my friends, all the listeners today that is listening in. Just hit up your boy, Honesty, H-O-N-E-Z-T-Y. Hey, oh, 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 oh. You know, honesty, it's been a blessing to speak with you. I'm looking forward to our live Instagram as well. It's going to be a blessing, and I appreciate your time because I know it's late out there in Chicago right now. Yeah, I know we're on the radio, but you know what? I kind of almost messed this up today. <laughs> I went, I went, no, for real, I went on the phone earlier, and when when we had that chat earlier, I went on the phone, and then I went and looked up U, UK time. It was 3 o'clock. So I was like, oh my God, I got to, um, I will set my alarm tonight because I know it was, it was something like a seven hours indifferent. Yeah. So I said, I got to set my alarm tonight. So I went in my room and I set my alarm for 1.30 a.m. Okay. Tonight. And I was like, oh my God. And when you hit me up about the, um, it's, it's 10, 15 minutes away. I said, oh my God, I just messed that up. I completely messed up. <laughs> <laughs> no problem no problem at all but it's always a blessing and we give thanks that you come on the show for real dj cat one love to you every time Keep doing what you're doing what you're doing thank Be you bless all right you too have a blessed rest of the day bless up bless bless yes people please do go out there go and support honesty go and check him out go and see what he's been up to and all that great stuff but right now we're going to be playing some more of his tracks this one is no bad man here we go uh, 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 uh.